Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be taking a topic, sort of, and talking about it. But in all honesty, it's less of a topic and more of me sharing my feelings and thoughts. So hopefully you'll find this interesting to watch. Before we get into that though, I'll just say a little bit about what I'm working on in this video. I'm actually working on the cover art for the second chapter of We Look in the Woods, which is my webcomic. The first chapter is available to read online on Tapastic, a link will be in the description, or you can buy the physical book from my store which includes a little bonus content section with all profiles on the characters. It's currently on a little break while I work on the next pages because I've been struggling a little bit and I'll talk about why. But hopefully you'll enjoy watching this. I know digital art is not what I normally post on this channel but I thought you might like to see how I worked on the actual cover. So in the beginning I'm actually working on some thumbnails and I will talk about the importance of thumbnails in another video but not for today. So what I want to talk about is feeling lost in your artistic direction. And I've been suffering with this for quite a while now. I just don't know what I want to do with myself. I look at my sketchbook and I just don't want to sketch anything. The feel of the pens doesn't feel right when I draw on the page or I just don't like what I'm drawing or I feel like I'm drawing the same thing over and over again. Which is actually funny because I've started a new sketchbook and I've been pushing myself to draw all sorts of different things. I've been drawing chairs, I've been drawing furniture and interiors, animals and plants and flowers. I've even pushed myself to do more poses with my characters, so not just headshot facing left but it still feels like I'm drawing the same thing and it feels like I'm getting nowhere. And I don't think the drawings are particularly bad when I look back at them, but they're not great either. It feels like they could be a lot better than what they are. Some of what I've drawn I'm actually really happy with, but at the time I'm drawing it, I'm not happy with it and I think everything's going wrong, but when I've pushed through it looks okay, but I still feel this general lostness, like I'm feeling my way through a dark cave and not being able to see anything. Me feeling like I'm drawing the same thing though, even though I'm not, could be to do with the art supplies I'm using because I always use biro in my sketchbooks, I've been using nothing but biro and I feel it might be holding me back a little, I'm not sure, because I want to try and push myself to use new materials and keep using new materials and new methods. I really want to get better at watercolour and maybe not rely so much on line art, but at the same time I'm so comfortable and happy with my line art, I don't want to give it up, so I feel kind of stuck. And I think the reason I don't want to branch out and use like just watercolour or no lines is because I'm scared of it looking bad and wasting the supplies, and more importantly wasting the time that I've spent failing, but deep down I know it's not failing, even bad drawings contribute to your overall skill level. I've always believed that if you get all your bad drawings out at the time, you've only got good drawings left, so I've tried to keep telling myself this but even I forget and I get into this muddled frustration that's hard to escape from. But I think the worst thing is how I've been feeling, is that I can't exactly pinpoint how I feel. I just don't know what the problem is because I know I'm not burnt out, I know I'm not looking at my work, artwork and hating it, but I just feel very lost and like I'm very rushed for time. Like I feel I've got to rush everything. If I do studies I feel like I've got to do them fast because I can't waste time working on this. I need to work on other things, I need to make YouTube videos and I know the YouTube videos struggle the most because I can't make a video if I don't have any footage and if I'm just sketching in my sketchbook that footage doesn't feel good enough to be a YouTube video but if I have footage then I need something to talk about and that's why I've really struggled with making videos in the last couple of months, I just don't know what to talk about, you know. I feel sometimes that I just talk about meaningless fluff, but at the same time people like it, so I don't know where I'm going. 
Although I look back on my videos and I realise it's not meaningless fluff, but at the same time I feel like I could be talking about a more diverse range of subjects, but at the same time they've got to relate back to art, so I'm just not sure what to talk about because other people have already done it as well. I know everyone can always add their own unique perspective on a topic, but sometimes it might just feel like I'm saying the same thing as somebody else, so you, you might as well watch somebody else's video on the topic but I don't know if people would like that kind of thing I'm not sure this is this is all things I'm not sure I'm not sure what videos to do I'm not sure what illustrations I want to do and I think that's why I've been feeling very lost with my comic as well I want to work on it but at the same time I want to change the art style around but I'm not sure I like the way it looks but I just feel I'm gonna trap myself in doing the same thing over and over again but I guess I can kind of pinpoint where I started feeling worse. There was going to be another voiceover for this video and it was talking about a certain subject that was important to me but at the same time it could have led to a lot of debate in the comments and I know on a lot of topic videos I've watched myself the comment section is like a war zone. I don't think I'm ready for the hassle that could come from sharing opinions on the internet because everyone knows that's dangerous. And I don't want people to get mad at me for not sharing that original voiceover. I feel this channel is supposed to be a nice, quiet, calm place. That's what a lot of people comment and what they like about this channel. So I would like to keep it in that same vein, but at the same time, I want to keep this channel real and honest. I want to be honest, I don't want to try and cover over the problems that I experience or the problems that I see around me. I want to talk about them. When you start talking about topics, so I feel like that kind of takes your channel to another level because you're opening up spaces for debate and I think maybe I'm not ready for that and I don't think my channel is ready for that. And after going back and listening to the original audio, I realised it was quite angry sounding and I'm not ready to share those thoughts. I don't want this to be interpreted that I don't want to hear people's thoughts. I do, I am interested in reading them. And though I don't reply to every comment, I do read every single one. I'm just not ready for the war zone that could potentially happen on a video. So back to the original topic, which is feeling lost in my art direction. I realise this video could be quite a Debbie Downer. I hope that's not the vibe you get from this video. As I've been making this, I've actually been thinking of ways to combat it and I think one of the things that can help is a routine. Now the thing that I tried was I promised myself to do three pages in my sketchbook every day. Now I know that sounds kind of easy or it might be easy to some people and hard for others but to me at the time it was very difficult. However, I did manage to go a whole week, so seven or eight days doing three pages every day and I think one day I even did seven pages so that was great and at the end of the week I was actually able to sit down and work on the cover art for chapter two of my comic so it did work. I still feel these feelings of being lost or not knowing what to do but I feel if you can just push yourself out of that cycle of feeling lost you can eventually sit down and create something. Now I'm still not 100% but I'm trying my best to just sit down and just get it done. I'm sure there's better advice out there. I'm sorry I can't supply like the, the magical answer to this problem. I'm still figuring it out myself. But I suppose I can try and share some more tips that I've learnt from other people and what I've sort of collected together. Now I think the routine is probably the most helpful one. Uh, with me, routine is very bad. I have nothing planned in the day, I do it as I feel, which is not actually the best method. Waiting for inspiration or motivation can be very disappointing as some days you will want to do nothing when you have to do everything and some days you will want to do everything but won't have the time so planning out a simple routine might be quite helpful for you. I know it's something I'm currently trying to implement into my daily life but 
I'm just not very good with routine. I'm gonna try though, I'm gonna try. Another tip might be to not stress yourself over this. The more stressed you get, the more you're not going to want to draw because having a clear mind is what helps you be able to sit down and just start drawing. Try to clear your mind of things that are going to get in your way and if stuff needs doing, if you have other chores in the house that you need to do, get them done and get them out of the way so you just have a clear schedule. And lastly, I think trying new supplies and new techniques might help but at the same time you could get lost trying new things and not liking them and it makes you feel worse. I recently tried a dip pen and I hated it. Thank goodness I didn't buy an actual dip pen to try because they're very expensive but I did not like it so I was able to just push it aside and carry on with what I like. See I think if you find something you're comfortable with you could maybe expand on that. So let's say if you like watercolour you could perhaps try a gouache and you could try new brushes as well, so if you use always thin brushes you could perhaps use a square or a chisel tip. I think they might be called chisel brushes, I'm not quite sure. I know I said that was the last tip but I've actually thought of a couple more while I was making this video. Is that talking to other artists and friends about this problem, whether they've experienced the same thing, you might be able to find some tips off them. And if you, the viewers, have any good tips you'd like to share, please put them in the comments, I'd love to read them. One thing I'd be wary of is looking at other people's art while you feel like this, because while it can be good in small doses, if you approach looking at it without the right attitude, you could end up making yourself feel worse and possibly envious of them. I actually recommend looking back at your older work to see how you were doing then, whether you have any thumbnails that you did or whether there are any drawings that you'd like to redraw. I feel like that might be better than looking at other people's work and making yourself feel worse in the process. So that's all of the advice I can think of for now. If I manage to collect anything else or think of anything else, I will make sure to share it with you. I hope this video wasn't too negative. I just wanted to be honest and share my thoughts. And if you like this kind of video, let me know because I'll try and make more topic videos in the future. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I want to thank you again for watching. I I'm very grateful for all the comments I receive and all the likes and for everyone that orders from the store I am very very grateful, thank you so much. I hope you were very able to enjoy the video and hopefully I will make more in future. I have lots of plans for series and one-off videos. It's just a matter of me settling down and actually starting them. I just gotta sit down and not make any excuses. I'll just try and sit down at my desk and get them made. <laughs> That's the plan. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.